A month later. Oh shit. Shit, we fucked that up. We fucked it up real bad. Um Oh yeah, this killing me. Wait, book three. Well, we're not feeling too, too well, are we? Sheesh. What now? What now? Hello. Leave me alone already. Hi. Are you having some problems with the client? Oh. Juvens. Ah, nothing too bad. We can try and talk to him again if you want. I don't know. I feel like this work just isn't right for me. Hey, what are you saying? You have to do this and get your shackles removed. Your fans need you. I know. Just not sure this is the right path. It's bringing me nothing but suffering. And I'm not the only one suffering because of it. I just have to put up with this a little longer. Three more orders and you're done. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Did I ever tell you how many orders I had left? Yes. Of course. Did you forget? Hmm. Alright. Okay. I'll call him right now. Maybe he'll change his mind. Alright. I don't think he will. I swear. Hello? Fine. <clears throat> I want to give you one more chance. You! I'm ready. Of course you're ready, you absolute moron. You're always ready. You failed me before. And it's most likely... It's, and it's most unlikely to give you another chance. Still haven't gotten over your mishap with the wand. But I think we can come to a compromise. A compromise? It's not an easy job. And so all my guys ran into trouble there. I had to pull them out. They're not expendable. But you'd be perfect for this job. Judging by what you do in your spare time, you don't have much of a choice. So get going. The order is at your door. Just try not to die. Well, do you know what I do in my spare time? Fine. There are cameras in, there are cameras in this place anyway. I believe. It's really stuff when we put the put the the thing so here. Get a new one? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black River Drifters? Contractor agrees to infiltrate Black River Drifters by Elena von Balro and extract an item to sort Excalibur? The client agrees to pay a negotiated sum upon fulfillment of the contract. It's probably Elena von Barlow. The sword is gonna go away at the point of reports. However, drawing parallels between dogmatic faith and programmed AI commands is certainly an interesting exercise. Especially for a subject that's already been on the death. That's why I'm giving them three out of five stars. Well, it's gonna be a big thing. Yep. It's gonna be big. You got the hammer on, it's fine. You had half of the elixir. All the rest. Well, let's, let's read and see what's next here. Drain more ink? Increase damage, of course. There you go. If we drain ink, we can do more damage. That's gonna be a lot a lot handier than getting than getting more ink out of it. Carl Martin is selling a share of the independent publishing agency HRMNY and investigate investing in a large share of a Morok publishing agency. Initial information states that Mr. Martin is entertaining the possibility of joining a more major and stable player with successful and high potential projects. It was reported that the entrepreneur met with the Morag board of directors today. Hmm. 
Anything in here? Hmm. It's the time to take a shower. Do you ever take a shower? As you note. Boy tap from old Jesus. Red wine. 525. Cheese plate 43. You have a big boy tap. That client knows a lot about us. Mm. Smells like dirt. Hello, sorry, but I just remembered I forgot to give you back your key and I know we had an argument, but I just had so much going on. Oh, I hear you again. It's my fault. I promised to bring back the key a really long time ago, and I only came back, came by today. It's also kind of broken. <laughs> Place where I work. If I bring aside objects in there, it's hard to bring them back again after. Sort of change when I come back here to dissolve. I know he was a no good drug addict. You hear me, child? I told you, that's Ryder has a drug addict. I can't wait to move away from here. Closed. More reservations. Renovations. Enemy's gone. Is he gonna move? What's even happening in this place, anyway? What the? Hmm. It's open. He's not here. A blank book. My neighbor trying to start writing it. So that's what happens to writers. Once they work out their sentence. Huh? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Like he's, he's just out of existence or something? What, what, what happened? Hmm. Uh, they also... Hmm. Someone's doing some serious renovations. Oh, I guess that's it for now. We're halfway through the game, I guess. Let's go into the Black River Drifters. Don't break my knee, don't break my knee, don't break my knee, don't break my knee, don't break my knee. Please don't break my knee. Oh. Lighting on the metal floor is not like great, I'm guessing. Oh. Oh. Uh, Chuck. Modric. Right. It's, it's just been so long. It's been a week, hasn't it? Like usual? Well, there was a little setback with the clients. Is that booze I smell? Uh, no, I uh, just haven't washed this jacket in a while. Did you have problems because of the wand? Yeah, kind of. But we're back in business now. Today we'll be looking for Excalibur. Sword? Are you sure when right book? We're looking for a medieval sword? You'll find out once we take a look around. Intruder alert. Identify yourself or you will be punished by the might of the seekers of the worthy. The voice is coming from a strange face on the wall. That peeks out from the cables like a spider in its web. With the blessings of the worthy, I punish all who oppose our mission. Speak your name now. Itchen. Itchen. I shall hear the will of the worthy and decide your fate. Have patience. What the hell is going on? The short version is, this is a pilgrim ship. And they're very serious and strict. So cut it out with the jokes. I'm not making jokes. Shh. So what's... So where's Excalibur? What's this wordy have to do with anything? What do you think the wordy is wordy of? Wordy of Excalibur? Mm hmm? 
Alrighty is the one who can pull a sword from the stone. And flying around the universe in this ship looking for that person. I remembered it was an old legend, or tale. And I think the new order was also working with the walkers to get the sword. And now it's our turn. The wordy has spoken to me. Finally? Tell me, Chen. Are you prepared to join us pilgrims, sailing this black river in search of the worthy, and give your life in the pursuit of the goal of our goal? Yes. I, the navigator, greet you, Acolyte Chen. Welcome to our temple and home. Now get to work, as our ship requires constant inspection. Sounds good. Okay. I'm screwed. I'm nothing. The ship's navigator greets you, Acolyte. Can I see Excalibur? We cannot even discuss the Sacred Sword on the lower level of the ship. It is the most unholy part of our vessel. So how do I get up higher? It's simple. You will ascend once you prove you are worthy of it. <sighs> Where is the ship headed? We are exploring the vast reaches of the Black River in search of the worthy. Do you have any clues about where they might be? The Sacred Sword will lead us to them. When we find the worthy, they will draw the Sacred Sword from the stone and guide our people to a brighter future. So the worthy could be anyone? Even me? Let me try and pull the sword out. I know I'm the worthy you're looking for. First, you must prove you are worthy of attempting to prove that you are worthy. What kind of a word a sentence is that? Uh. Study truth, inspect the machinery, and help your brothers. That will guide you to gradual understanding of the truth that will unlock the path to the swords. No search cards for you. Fine. Well, at least I can check the cells. I guess the elevator will not work for me. The door is locked. Is the door is labeled cell A. There's a slot for Nexus card next to it. Cell B? What's this? Repair module? Check like the doors first. Cell C? Cell D? Any cards? They also have different emblems. Some kind of device. A machine appears on the screen. Brother, place the broken object in the slot and it will be restored to its former appearance. It's persistence, but an object creation menu appears on the screen. Oh, space multi tool? Cool. I need silver bars. Let's inspect the engine room then. It's kind of weird that Excalibur is this mechanical. I thought it was about Arthur. Hang on. What's that sound? What sound? Oh. Watch out! Damn! Acolyte Samsa, begin repairs immediately in, name, in the name of the worthy. <laughs> oh, well, they're really... <laughs> I cannot. What is your reason, Acolyte Samsa? I. You still have your limbs. That means you are able to do the repairs. I cannot stand. Is something pinning you down, Acolyte Samsa? I must have internal injuries. My ribs. I understand. You have lost faith in the worthy. May you not fear the disillusions on your path. Remove them from your brotherhood. No! I cannot! My ribs! Hold on! Let me do it! My rib beam shoots out of nowhere, leaving a glowing glare on your retinas. When you manage to blink it away, you see Acolyte Samsa's unmoving body as a green hole burns through the back of his hat. What the hell? Acolyte Chen. Begin repairs immediately. In the name of the worthy. It will be done. May the worthy gaze upon you 
and guide your hand as their own. Look at the panel by the ceiling that the beam came from. Your hands instinctively reach for the back of your heads. Yeah, we should probably hurry with those repairs. We don't have a multi-tool. How am I supposed to do the repairs? Do you have any? Poor guy. Examine a body, trying to avoid looking at the hand wounds. You don't notice anything of interest. There's something in his hands. Huh? You unclench the dead man's hand and see an electronic access card. Unfortunately, the explosion damaged it too. I can still fix it. Take the still warm, partially melted access cards. It's card A. Wait, can I can I leave this this place? Do you have to? Oh, I'm on fire now! Oh no! Navigator, please. You look at the glow inside the engine through a dense wave of heat. It's molten metal. Just hurry before the core melts. So, what's the problem? I don't know. The elder was very vague in his description of the engine. <sighs> you lean forward and look into the engine's dark opening. Rubber hoses, metal pipes, pistons and belts. Surprisingly, it all seems to be in good shape. Everything inside looks intact. So why is it heating up? So much. It's just my hands. You reach for the closet, move the closest moving part of the engine. As soon as your hand touches the metal, you pull your fingers back sharply and step away. Damn, that's hot. Maybe it's supposed to be molten hot. It's a spaceship engine, right? Yeah, that alarm is normal too. These lights are flashing just for the fun of it. A colliding gem. Was it your hand that caused the engine temperature to increase? No, in the name of the wordy. It seems that the cooling system is out of order. Follow the lower hallway to the cooling center and try to determine the problem. It will be done. In the toolbox. Yo, rope that I cannot use. I thought I could use rope, come on. We're in a place, we could use rope in a spaceship. Now he asked me to follow this hallway, right? Cooling system. Oh boy, yeah, it is on fire, holy crap. Hot steam is escaping from the broken pipe. Examine the equipment. The pipe is broken, and the water is turned on. What do we do? The water is there to keep it from overheating, so let's disconnect the broken pipe. Try to disconnect the broken pipe, but the strong flow of water makes it impossible. That won't work, you need to turn off the water first. Okay, I'll do it. The pipe is broken, and now there's a water valve. <laughs> It shuts. The pipe is broken. <sighs> Can I... What's in the container? In the silver bar. I need three, two more. The water's flowing. Oh, okay, it's shut. Disconnect the broken pipe. Disconnect the broken pipe. It cools down fairly quickly. You put it in your coat pocket. I'll have to replace it with a new one. That's obvious. I don't think I have a new pipe, but I know where the where the synthesis thing is. I, I'll go and go to the cells and use the synthesizing thing. Put the broken pipe inside. Object accepted. Processing. Processing. The compartment opens. Opens. I see the completely restored pipe within. Wow, Diva, we created a rust on it. I guess that's how it looked before the explosion. No bad. Well, let's put the burn nexus card inside as well. Object accepted. Processing. Processing. Robin opens. You see the completely restored access card. Access card for Sunday. We'll go there when we have the time. Yeah, because right now we don't. We need to fix this thing. I'm gonna go this way because I don't want the navigator to see me. I'm scared of the navigator. Not, not even really scared. I just don't want to hear him. I just want to listen to him now. Connect the repaired pipe. Great, the pipe fits perfectly. So that everything? Not quite. Check the equipment again. We were missing something. Water slowing. It worked. Let's go take another look at the engine now. Oh, the fire just went away with when I fixed it. Holy crap! 
Well, the engine is so broken. I mean, that thing is. I'm not even an engineer, but I'm doing this. The cooling system is steadily pumping the ice mixture to the pipe. The engine is radiating heat like before. You can even touch the other panels with your bare hands. You fixed the cooling system, but it looks like that wasn't enough. Maybe there's some kind of button we need to push. Well, let's find the button. You inspect the device with an, in a, in, with an experienced eye, but you don't see anything that even looks like a control panel button, lever, or ignition key. Oh. Let's go on navigator. In the name of the wordy, I ask you to start the engine. It is not to me you should direct your prayers, Acolyte Chen. But to the wordy, I am just their servant. Worthy, I pray, start the engine. You probably have not managed to learn the holy litanies yet, so I will help you, newcomer. Repeat after me. By the will of the worthy, I pray for the flame to obey my will and activate its mechanism. <sighs> By the will of the worthy, I pray for the flame to obey my will and activate this mechanism. Something inside the engine starts rumbling discontently, gaining momentum. Suddenly a shrill noise fills the room. Acolyte and Chen, you do not have enough faith. Oh, come on. My faith is stronger than ever. I believe in the worthy with my whole heart, my whole soul, with every cell in my body. I believe. Suddenly a compartment opens on the side of the engine, and with a soft hiss and a cloud of white steam, an empty compartment designed to hold a cylindrical flask appears. I speak of something else. Place a full vessel of faith in the compartment so that our temple may continue its journey. Is that... some kind of fuel? Faith? Yeah, it's something like fuel around here. Let's go look around. Maybe we can find some way to siphon some of this faith. Let's go. We have a keycard, so let's find it. Jesus Christ. This is shit. The sh ship is stuck. No one is wondering why we're not moving. Sing. Access granted. Thank you. Maybe there's some fate over here. Silver more. I don't like it. Before I do anything, I'm gonna make myself a power tool. Space multi tool, baby. What can I do anyway? You have absolutely no idea how this is supposed to work. It's a multi tool, it can use whatever. It's a scissor, it's a knife, it's a lockpick, it's everything. A woman is lying in this tightly closed capsule, eyes closed, and lips rapidly and soundlessly moving as she recites something. Examine the capsule. The capsule is full of electronic equipment and tubes leading from the woman to a glass vessel that is slowly filling up with gl a glowing liquid. Wait, she is... She's praying? And that makes faith? Examining electronics. Among the unintelligible labels and symbols, you see only one you understand. Capsule temperature 24 degrees, manually set. Nothing of interest. Examine a vessel of liquid. This is what we're looking for. They call it faith. So it's coming out of her? D don't think about it. The vessel is almost full. You can take it. What will happen to her? She'll be okay. Right, I got faith. We slowly pull the glass vessel of fate out of the machine. The woman in the capsule pauses for a second. A new empty flask appears where the old one just was. The woman returns to her original state. Well, now I have that. I'm in a woman. The woman looks absolutely exhausted, which makes it hard to guess her age. She could be 40 or 18. Her outfit is an odd blend of medieval style and futuristic materials. Yeah, it has the colors of a, of a knight. And like, this is like chainmail around her entire, entire body. But then it looks like a spacesuit. Her hands are folded across her chest and she's holding something. But she can't see what it is. Some sort of amulet that looks like it could be a cross or a sword. What if I knock on it? Knock knock! The woman doesn't react at all. I 
I'm guessing that faint is someone's life force. The more you have faint, it, it's like mana. Like the loss, you deplete your mana, you die. That's how it sort of works. The cool engine is basically waiting for you. The compartment to hold the flask of fate is still open. And the flask of fate. The flask fits perfectly in, in the compartment. You push down a little harder, and it gently settles deeper into the machine. As soon as you take your hand out, a thick round hatch cover slides over the compartment. Try to remember to pray yourself. Remember how it went? Ah, something about flame mechanism. Oh, and also don't forget the wordy. Let's find the part. By the will of the wordy, I pay for the flame to obey my will and activate this mechanism. By the will of the wordy, I pray for the flame to obey my will and activate this mechanism. The war starts building inside the machine and suddenly bursts out. The piston starts moving. A steady hum fills the engine room. May the worthy bless you, Ecolite and Tian. The engine is working correctly again. Your work here is done. And it's time for you to ascend. You start looking around nervously, bowing your head slightly. Ascension is the right to climb higher, to the middle level of the ship. Ah, of course. You may use the elevator to ascend. And the sword Excalibur, it's... The location of the sacred sword will be made only to those who have proven themselves worthy of their knowledge. The navigator's voice is always cold and mechanical, but he says this phrase in an even colder voice. Well, let's go to the elevator then. Look at that, everything is a hungry freaking dory, of course. We fixed this thing even though we didn't even touch it. It was on fire, but we didn't touch it, so yeah boy, we did it. Some reason it makes no sense, but it, it it doesn't have to make sense because it's a book, and because the writer didn't didn't put a lot of effort, a lot of detail in how it works. Do you wish to ascend to the middle level, brother? Yes, I do. I sure do, brother. Let me ascend, brother. <laughs> Welcome to Earth, brother. Earth? We call the lower decks Hell, the middle decks Earth, and the upper decks... Heaven? Correct, brother. I see you have already studied our scriptures. If the will of knowledge guides you, visit the library on this floor. Okay. Is Excalibur there? On the top floor? Every acolyte who ascends from Hell must first serve five human years on Earth before they will be permitted to touch the sword. What? Five years? What? Only after five years have passed can an acolyte grasp the highest sacred truths. And then the worthy will permit them to ascend the heaven and touch the swords. Begin your service. The five year countdown has begun. So, what am I supposed to do? How should I serve? Study truths. Inspect the machinery, and help your brothers. Only routine will guide you to gradual understanding of the truth. You should look around if I figure out a better plan than mopping floors for five years. Jeez, he, no wonder people people can do shit over here. As junk! How is it junk? It's, it's to use for fire. What's that red ball? Book? Access card. Did someone drop this? Can I go back down? Yeah, I wanna go down. Wait, does that put my countdown on hold? Imagine spending five years on something frivolous. Card B. I don't know how access the night. Card B, I have card B. It's that little bag that shows a sword stuck to a circle. This is the one. what the fuck? Am I supposed to fix it first? 
Confused? I guess I'm not allowed to go inside. But I, even though I have an access card, this machine. Yes, go to the upper level. The machine has too much power. I have a feeling no human actually lives anymore and the, and the machine took over. Around the table room, the cabins. What's in the cabins? Why are there so many rooms? What's with the controller? Not a slot for Faith. I thought they only needed it on the lower level. Faith is what moves our ship forward. Without it, the search for the worthy would be impossible. It is needed on each deck of the ship, as well as each stage of our lives. Alright, so get it. Infirmary, kitchen, armory. Armory? Insufficient energy. Insufficient energy. There's only one place I can go, and that's the restroom. <laughs> Frick you! <laughs> Are there any grates or cell fans that I can go through to go to the other places without using energy? Well, it's. Old enough to go right now. Let's go. I just think sure I'll take it. I'm gonna make sure no one can use him. An access card. What's with these access cards? Now why is C second and B lat later? There's a sword on the amp on the back that shows a sword stuck to something that looks like an oval shaped shield. Interesting. Two access cards, and that's about all I can ha I have. Wait, what is what does this prayer say? A prayer is carved into the wall in Gothic script. May strength fill the part of my body that you require most of all, O Wordy. Okay, that should be easy to remember. I'll write it down. I'll call it the Spirit Prayer. Put the note in your pocket. Ooh, got the Spirit Prayer. Alright, we're on table room. Wah! Why is one on fire? Why is one... Cryot? Uh, the round table is so bad. The device connected to the prey chamber is on fire. You won't be able to get the vessel of fate. Just don't stick your hands in there. You need to find a fire extinguisher first. The fire extinguisher. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. The man inside shows no sign of life, just like the equipment surrounding the capsule. The flask of fate was filled up before the fire, and is almost unscathed. You take it from the compartment. It really is a miracle that it's intact. Rest in peace, my boy. Empty. This chamber is empty. This one is full. Hot. The youngest crew member you've seen so far is writhing in pain inside the chamber. The panel showing his vitals is blink. Is blinking red, as is the panel showing the temperature inside the capsule. Looks like the chamber overheated. We should cool it down so that guy doesn't die. Use ice to cool the chamber down. Oh, we first need to find the ice. There's an old man inside the capsule. His whole body is shaking and his hands are grasp grasping the chest of his suit, so he's trying to rip it apart. There's a face flashing on the panel. Heart failure, stabilizer injection required. I'll save y'all, I'll save y'all. That man lies motionless in the capsule. He has a tape. Flask of face next to the capsule is completely empty. It's like the crew is starting to sort of lose faith in their mission. There's so many years of fruitless wandering. I'm not surprised. Alright, let's move on. Wait a second. Look what he's holding. Open a capsule and the steam escapes. You see that the dead man's hands are grasping the tape reel. You should listen and see what's on here. I agree. The middle-aged man, the flask that usually holds fate is empty. There are two fa two fate three fate containers we can get. Navigator, you're not helping. Right, I have one container. The flask fits perfectly in the compartment. You must say a prayer. Speak your request to the wordy. The wordy has heard your prayer. I will give you their answer soon. So the wordy only talks to you? Why can't I hear the answer straight from them? 
You ask the wrong questions, Acolyte. You must ask why you are not yet worthy of a direct conversation with the worthy. Worthy of the worthy? Does the other know what a tautology is? In any case, I specifically was created in the supposed image of the worthy, and therefore I receive signals from them. You were created? I thought you were human. The worthy has declared thy will. You may activate the device. The indicators and messages started to light up. Thank you, O worthy. Warning, insufficient energy. Limited functionality available. Let's go to the infirmary first. The infirmary department is not receiving the required energy. Amount of energy, no access. We need to reduce the ship's energy consumption. Let's go figure out how we can do that. Study the figures. These are the energy using statistics. Looks like a navigator requires almost 70% of the total energy. It means so much is forcing them to fly slower than they had originally planned. The navigator is a waste! Get rid of it! I guess he's just that important. Um... Armory? The armory compartment is receiving the acquired amount of energy. Access granted. Shields. What can I find in the armory? Ice? Oh! Haha, I can vent! I'm um, nothing with silver bars now. Lasers. The floor is blocked by buzzing beams of laser. Those beams. I call it in Chen. This barrier will disintegrate you and you entirely in the thousands of a second. I advise you not to touch it. You jerk your hand away and take a step back too, just in case. Why are there beams in the middle of the room that can disintegrate me in less than a second? For safety purposes, access to this part of the deck is restricted while the cannon is active. I get that, but why? For safety purposes. Alright, alright. Sheesh. Tips cannon. To the flask of fate. Motherfucker! Examine it. The panel is inside a decorative metal frame with a floral motif. How does it turn on? He made it runs on fate too. Look on the panel and see a familiar empty compartment designed to fit a flask of fate. <sighs> it's fine. I mean, what happens if I touch it? Your finger slowly reaches towards the velvety looking black surface of the control panel screen. Are you sure that's a good idea? The tip of your finger slides across the screen for the first second. Ah, for the first second, it seems like nothing is happening. But in the next second, a substantial static shock runs through your finger. Shit. Gah! As soon as you pull your finger away, a message appears on the screen. Insufficient feet. Of course. Uh, and, and the prayer. Another prayer. And the voices of their disciples will resound along the Black River, from shore to shore, from source to mouth. Let's write that down. I'll call it the voice prayer. Well, the note in my pocket. Let's go through. Does the navigator know that this is possible? Because I'm now in a cell. It's a locked door. Wait, where the heck am I? What's this note? Documents. The underlines the fact that there was a sharp increase of suicides on Earth after our crew took Excalibur off the planet. What? Excalibur gave people happiness? Ooh. Bread. I do like bread. Anything else over here? Push the unlock button. Oh! Oh! So that's why. I guess I can go into. see. Access granted. Okay. Stuff for ink. It's on the floor. It's completely empty. Looks like I almost lived there for a while. That's all there is over here? I'm kinda disappointed in these cells, man. Let's go back to B. This guy just died, so that's bad. Right, armory is kind of a waste now. Need ice. And unlock the infirmary. No, the kitchen. Kitchen is requiring the booty boo da boo. 
Nice! That's what I need. I'm gonna help him first before I take his faint. Empty bottle. Let's go. Nothing in the fridge? Nothing in the fridge. A lot of food over here. Why is there food if no one is eating? Well, I'm, I'm taking it. See, huge metal door for the shutter floor level. Yeah, it looks like a freezer. Right, open the door. You pull in the cold handle with all your strength. No results. Yeah, that's not going to work. Wait, but there's a knife somewhere in the kitchen. A knife? Are you joking? You need a sledgehammer and a chisel to break this ice. Or an ice pick. Sure, there must be an ice pick around there, right? With all that space ice climbing they do? Doesn't have to be an actual ice pick. There must be some kind of similar tool here. I don't see anything in the task. text. Maybe you should ask your neighbor. I think my neighbors will hate me now, but I'll try. Yeah, I've been wondering. We, we, we've stolen two things from Henry, we've broken them. The other one calls us a drug addict, so I don't think we have anyone to talk to. Except for Henry again. Who's there? It's your Chen. Who? Your Chen, your neighbor! I see. I'm looking for a pickaxe. Do you happen to have one? A pickaxe? What the hell is going on in your apartment? Renovations. More renovations? And where's my sledgehammer anyway? And my shovel? They're fine. I'm just. I'm knocking down a wall, and your sledgehammer got stuck in it. I borrowed your shovel to dig it out, but the shovel got stuck too. I think a pickaxe is just what I need to fix this. <laughs> what an idiot. Let me go look. I feel kind of bad for not giving him a stuff bag, but it's, it's also... Reality that his stuff is broken. He just doesn't know. There. Just remember to bring it back. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Well, how come... How come he has a sledgehammer and a pickaxe? That, that's, ask, that, that's giving me more questions than answers, though. <laughs> the renovation is great. Well, let's forget about them. They hate me. Right. Close the door. I don't want anyone to see me. What do I do with the tape reel? How do I, how do I listen to the tape? I think I have a tape with me. So the tape is for the fourth book then, huh? Because I run an achievement that says read all the read all the tapes. And there are probably three tapes. Because it says there were out of three for me. Because I didn't read any of the, listen to any of the tapes yet. See the door to the fridge. Poison shot. Here's a pickaxe. Here is a pickaxe over your hat. Okay, here it goes. Hmm. Pickaxe broken. I'm gonna need this ice block. It's broken into tiny broken in tiny pieces. You break the ice, but all you find inside is frozen food. Well, I don't really need food, I need ice. Nice. That might come in handy. What for? To cool something down later. You'll find out. Fine. A giant block of ice takes up the whole corner and glares unkindly at you. Don't lose that. Well, do it. Raise the pickaxe over your shoulder. Raise the pickaxe over your hands. Swing the pickaxe behind your back. Over my hands. Only as much strength as needed, that's your motto. With a measured swing, you raise the pick over your head and drop it onto the ice block. A thin crack appears on the edge, and a large chunk of ice falls to the floor with a crash. Not bad. You pick up the chipped off chunk of ice from the floor. The thing was, if we were if we were swinging too hard, it would break into m multiple pieces. If we would do it less, then it wouldn't do stuff. If we did more, also we eat all the food, it seems. 
every the more. And yeah, every the more. And break if it did less. Then it wouldn't do shit. We haven't even gone to the library. Isn't that interesting that we're doing anything else but the library? Sir, I'm gonna help you. I'll show you his eyes blinking right yes. Cool him down. You pour eyes on the capsule, the eye sizzles and quickly starts melting. The temperature slowly starts to fall, and as soon as it reaches a normal range, you open the capsule. The man's eyes are still closed, but at least you saved him from suffocating in that heat. Should we leave him like this? Yeah, let him get a little fresh air. Take the flask. You remove the flask of glowing liquid and put it in your pocket, making sure the lid is on tight first. Thank you. No thanks. He's dead. Didn't even check him. Wow, half of them are dead. Ain't good at all. But let's go to the armory again. Don't listen to the navigator. The navigator reminds me of that of that wheel from Wally. It's a sort of flask of fate. It hits the flask of fate, settles deep into the cannon. Panels start flashing almost immediately. Blue and green symbols f form patterns and then fly apart, forming several rectangular buttons. Okay, what now? Try touching the words. It seems to be. It seems to be how they do it in the books. Touch the message and say a prayer. I'd like to do deactivate. To choose the third option, see a huge message that covers the whole screen. Prayer required. Okay, go ahead. But which one should I say? Hmm, turn and tell. I'll look for something about the weapon or energy. The words sing a prayer are flashing. I have to sing? Prayers must be sung, whoever work grandly enough for it, under the 53-day mourning period for Alkaline Ray and Rhymai. The mourning period includes a ban on singing. I see. Mm, mm, voice prayer. Then the voices of their disciples will resound along the blank, we were from bank to bank from source to mouth. Incorrect. Correct. Son of a... This is too strong a charge for simple punishment. I don't think spirit is gonna be the right one either. Let's go to the library and see if we can find another prayer. Son of a bitches. Such asses. What was this? Can't touch it. Right. There's damage here too. Because the engine really must must have really flared up. We should hurry! The fire spreads to the library, all the scriptures could be ruined. Oh am I glad I got it myself a thing, Imajek? What's with this? If my hand or wordy prevents the f prevents me from serving you, I will cut it off like a withered root. Let's write that down. I'll call the sacrifice prayer. Are you sure you won't get it mixed up with some strange names? Nah, that's fine. That hatch won't open. That hatch goes open. To hear the words of the past, recite the voice prayer. To lower the rice, right your sword, recite the sacrifice prayer. To alter the electric river's current, recite the spirit prayer. To hear the words of the past. Oh, that's for the library. Wait, the, the names I give are, are correct? Lol, get wrecked. The capsule is stuck, but you see a twisted chunk of metal keeping it from opening. If only you had some kind of tool. So it's a multi-tool. To find something on a multi-tool, it looks it kinda looks like a screwdriver. And use it as a lever to move the piece of metal. Lift the capsule. Books and paper everywhere. Ooh. I guess that's it. Can I go anywhere further? Really can't do anything else, huh? Oh, but there's a vent over there. How can I get to the vent? You have anything to say? I really want to see Excalibur. You have not yet earned that right, Acolyte. Has anyone ever earned it? Acolyte Rhymer put his faith in the Meridian Rose to Heaven, but unfortunately, 
He is no longer with us. Great. Back to the cabins. Let's use a sacrifice prayer. Sacrifice prayer. If my hands already prevents me from serving you, I will cut it off like a wither's roots. Here it is. And the control panel goes dark. The cannon has been deactivated. See? It wasn't that hard. I will break you, boy. Hold on. I want... I, I want... Uh... I want the access card. Sheesh. Wait, what the? It's in the crate. Can I please do something here? The container and the salve attracts your attention. Is it just me or does it seem like there's something valuable in there? Should I check the text? It'll take me 10 minutes. I'll do it myself. A gun? The container and the shelf is locked tightly. Use the multi tool. Okay, I need a lockpick or something. Let me see. Examine the multi-tool, looking for something that will help you, but you accidentally hit something that caused a red laser beam to shoot out from it. Oh! Blinking, you see that the lock on the container is melted open. How did you do that? What the heck did I push? You try examining the multi-tool from all sides, but you can't find anything that looks like a laser. <sighs> Fine. Ooh, well numbered paper. In the library. Open more compartments. Move your shit. Audio reel. 369. Wait, what is 69, boy? Yo, 369 and 42. They knew. Looks like someone already took the audio reel. What the hell is wrong with you? It's jammed. The last audio reel? Oh. She activate the playback device and search fade into the compartment of the panel with letter. Why is it always fate? You really should understand by now that all the equipment here runs on it. I don't have any. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need fate. I don't have fate. You know what I need? Something, something compartment. Syringe? For the dudes, because I don't want to leave him hanging. Let's go to Seldy. Hopefully, we're able to go to Seldy. Access granted. A let's go. That's it. Oh, no, no, there's something else. Okay. Oh, my. Thank you first. This one. I can move you. An elegant chest stands in the middle of the room. It looks as though the whole cell has been built around it. There's a multi-tool. A red light starts glowing on a device. Another one, exactly identical, lights up on a chest. You bring the multi-tool close to the chest and it opens on its own. How convenient. What's inside? A mad kid! I don't need to go to the- Ugh. You're bursting my bubble now. I thought I could use the medkit for something else, but no, the medkit is for me. SMH. This game, man. Unfair every time. Doesn't want their passengers to live, huh? Oh, I think we can unlock all the rooms now. Oh, because we shut up the cannon. Oh, okay. Nice. If I make a bomb, it's receiving a great energy. So let's go. You haven't fought anyone yet in here. I'm not foreshadowing this, am I? What is with that entire row of cabinets for medicine? Near the wall is a locked container labeled medicine. It was a multi-tool. You find a long probe on a multi-tool that you might be able to use as a lockpick. As soon as you insert into the lock, something clicks and the lock opens on its own. To pick the lock itself? Huh. Not a mat kit. I don't need a mat kit. Medical chair signed with something red. Blood. It's blood. Bleh. You're standing in front of a huge shelving unit. The control panel next to it is illuminated. The first one you notice is three blue numbers in the middle of the screen. What's the first number? Beep! 
The inside is made up of neat square compartments with different types of bottle on each one. You pick up the closest one and read the old fashioned paper tag dandelion leaf. Folk medicine in the space age. It's empty. Let me check the other compartments. Uh, second number, please. Beep! Beep boop beep! -boop. In the middle of the shop, you see gilded bunks with an ornate inscription, relics of the great martyr Ramar. A mallet audio reel is lying next to it. In the reel. If you take the mallet reel in its current state, you won't be able to listen to it. I'm good at There's something written here, and it's hard to read. Sick. Ooh. Sacred truth? Is that what the navigator was talking about to get to the top floor? We need to restore this and listen to it as soon as we can. Let's open the box. No way! I don't think it's a good idea to touch sacred relics on a ship when it's when there's a crazy hat that shoots lasers. Reluctantly pull your hat away. Fair enough, we don't wanna die. I'm guessing if we die in a book, we die in real life. Beep. A really good idea to stop the thing from moving. Those of mean looking metal syringes stare up at you from under their glass caps. They're each filled with a greenish liquid. The label on the inner wall will read stabilizer. I don't know how to inject people. You're lucky I'm a doctor. But actually, I guess you're not that lucky. So they don't have hands here. Oh, you remembered something new about yourself? Yeah? Huh. Anyway. I feel more confident than if it was some kind of spray or gel. Looks like you'll have to learn a new scale today. Fantastic. Completely lift off one of the caps and take a syringe. It cools your skin and fits comfortably in your hands. Let's go back to the old man of the capsule. Let's go. Whoa, whoa. Now we have all the audio reels. We can listen to all the tapes. We can save the old man because we cannot get a capsule of fate, Roderick. Yeah, pass that! And the one that gives light. Use a syringe. You have the syringe and you're all ready to save the old man. Inject him quickly! I have never done this before. I don't think the needle can pierce a capsule's glass. There's a catheter. There, there to the left, under the panel. Just stick the needle in there and push out the medicine. A shiver of relief runs through your body as the medicine disappears into the capsule. The old man's condition. Starts to imp starts improving before your eyes. Let's wait a little bit. You cross your arms over your chest and wait. The old man's convulsions gradually stop. His breathing evens out, and his fingers at top stop tearing at his clothes. He's at peace. Hey, we saved his life. Yep. Now can I take the flask and move on? All right, all right. <sighs> we did well. What a last flask of fate. What? Oh, hold. Oh, yeah, well, I don't usually do that. It's going through the cannon. Alright, power to the armory. Because there are two vans on the armory. Don't wanna use the elevator, gonna use dude's vent. Push the damage wheel inside. Got a new one. Okay, now we can listen to it on the player and the library. What else is there? Nothing, there's nothing in there. We did everything we got. Now we just have to go to heaven, get Excalibur, get out of there, and get money. And, and hear what a good job we did from our client. Who knows too much about us because he's l he's listening in and such. Activate the playback device to search friends in the compartment on the panel, brother. Why is it always fate? You really should understand by now that the only equipment here runs on it. Put the flask in the compartment and then gently fill it and slides to the machine. You must say a prayer. Speak your request to the to the worthy, brother. It's against voice? The worthy has heard your prayer, brother. You may activate the device. Thank you, oh wordy. Looks like we can use this machine to listen to audio reels recorded by members of the crew. There might be useful information on them. What wonderful technology. It's just an ordinary audio player. Is there anything like it in your book? 
No. Although considering where we are now, nothing should surprise me. Okay. Uh, reel number one goes first. Processing. You hear an old woman's voice creak, coming from the crackling speaker. I remember reading an article criticizing our mission, even before we set off. I want to record the other thoughts before I forget. He wrote about how the swords, which he blasphemies called a hunk of metal stuck in a stone, led on the idea of dividing us into the worthy and unworthy. Gradually, people who understood that their changes of being found unworthy were extremely high found ways. Extremely high? Found ways to avoid a test, coming up with crazier and crazier excuses? To keep from being stigmatized as unworthy. Holy crap. His hunk of metal, which allegedly got stuck because of shifting stone slaps, caused a general acceleration in the development of interplanetary travel, which eventually led to our departure. However, sometimes even I begin to wonder. The recording cuts out. Number two Processing. Warning. The material you're about to listen to was recorded on Earth, and we considered it to be against our fate and our mission. I hear a middle-aged man, voice coming from the crackling speaker. <clears throat> in my attempts to analyze the influence of faith in our technology, in light of recent events, I came upon an interesting detail. After all, behind all technology stands a lent machine, which has a proven 2% error rate. That means there's a 2% chance the base algorithm that every machine and every computer is built on is capable of making a mistake or failing. The uncertainty and unpredictability that this fact imposes on seemingly faithful and reliable machines creates space for superstition. What if I pray and a mistake doesn't happen? What if I perform a ritual, cross my fingers, and a mistake doesn't happen? The recording ends. Restore it real now. Processing. You hear an old man's weak voice coming from the crackling speaker. Oh, Wordy, I pray to you. It is not your strength I desire. All right. <laughs> All right. You write the words on a piece of paper held against your knee. But the responsibility that falls on one who is bold enough to raise a blade above themselves. The voice cuts out. Then you hear the sound of the elevator opening and the navigator's voice from far off. Is this a secret truth the navigator was talking about? If it is, then we won't have to work here for five years. Alright, let's go to the elevator. I think we'll be allowed to open the sword now, too. Let's leave, let's go. We've done our job. Let's get Excalibur and get out of here. This ship is doomed to fail. We have the people, we've helped everyone. Let's go. The thing is open, I can go. I believe I have grasped the sacred truth. I'm whistling the coins. You clear your throat, glancing surreptitiously at the paper in your hand. Oh, worthy! It is not your strength I desire. But the responsibility that falls on one who is bold enough to raise a blade above himself. That is, indeed, sacred truth. It must be understood by those who decide to touch the sword and be declared worthy. And I am amazed that you were able to grasp it in such a short time. Well, I am prepared to uplift you. Are you sure you're ready? Nothing left undone here? I'm ready, let's go to the sword. Uplift me! It shall be done. We're gonna fight a machine. That's for sure. The sword is over there, what's this? Server room? Door's locked. A sign that says Supreme Navigator. I collided, Shan. Well, what now? You said we could touch the swords. That is true. But you have given a, a more important task right now. 
Go to the navigator's cabin. First, can I just... You notice the panel sliding back on the wall to reveal a hidden a weapon hidden behind it. That looks familiar. I'm going, I'm going. Shit. Uh, this is a, this is an arena. What the fuck? Hold on. No, wait. I need balls of ink. Fuck! I'm screwed. But I did. I never use this ink. Oh, I'm so screwed. I have three balls of ink. I should have. Mm. I'm, I'm, so I'm so dead. 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 Um, navigator. That thing's huge. Why did you summon me? Well, besides to kill me, obviously. I need you to change the ship's course. Change it? Can't you, you do that yourself? I do not have the authority. Only the crew members can confirm the decision to go back. Go back? But what about the search for the worthy? Most of the crew have lost faith in our goal. Is that why you killed them? I simply made several harsh decisions based on purely economical reasons. To preserve food and oxygen for the more useful crew members. Listen, the only thing I'm interested in is a sword. I'd... I permit you to touch it if you confirm our course change. What happens if I say, do it? What, what, what will it do? But then I, I, I suffer with the characters. But then I lose the swords. And then I still lose the swords. It doesn't affect me to it. Fine. What do I need to do? First confirm your bloodline by sitting your ancestral code. 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 Um, none of the characters ever see a code in a text. Hold on. Uh, I, uh, forgot my code. If you don't remember your code, state the name of your ancestors and I will confirm the code from the database. Um, I doubt I'm in the database. And how did you get on the ship? If you are on the ship, you are part of the crew. You are an acolyte. There can be no outsiders here. If you are part of the crew, then you must have a lineage, or else you would not have been accepted onto the crew. Keep talking. Can't there be an exception to your rules? There are no exceptions. The conclusion is simple. You are a member of the crew who refuses to confirm the lineage. That means you are in, in opposition to our mission. Which therefore means you must be eliminated. Well, I'd say that's not far from the truth. Oh boy, I'm gonna die. I'm first. Stun yourself. Green Night Inc. Summon whatever you want. Great. So you're sitting idle. So you're gonna hit. What are you doing? That's fine. Missed me, boy. I should do it. Nothing really changes if I do that. <laughs> Go down. Shit. I need to drain someone. I need some. Oh, if I hit him, it would. Bastards! Stop electrifying everyone! Hmm. He's just saying I don't anyway. Alright, the thing is done after this. I didn't need ink anyway with my new skills. 
You're the only one that's going in my way. Get out of here! Sinner! The worthy will punish your soul. The navigator cores flies up from within. Sinner! Sinner? Sinner? Sin... The navigator voice, navigator's voice cuts out of the middle of the word. Suddenly a siren starts sounding. Cut to the sword now! He awakened the whole crew, and they'll be here soon! Reserve power activated. Total system reboot in three minutes. Hurry, Etienne! Sure, 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 sure. Get to the sword, get to the sword, get... Warning! Sinner! On the upper back! He's already back up? No time to waste thinking about that. Head for the sword! I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Eat an apple. Frag, 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 frag! Got it, got it, got the sword, got the sword! Shit! He'll break through any minute! The sword draws your full attention. The majestic hilt gleams in the light, and the sharp blade disappears into the thick stone. I'll try and use my hands to pull it out first. Right. Maybe out of all the people in the world, you're actually the worthy? Lower your head. Take a deep breath, and walk up to the stone. That was sarcasm! Find out a way to get the sword out quickly! Your hand feels like they're filled with strength, and lightning seems to flash inside you. You're wasting time! I am worthy! What are you mumbling over there? Can't we use a laser or something to cut it out of the stone? I am worthy! Huh? Your legs lead you forward of their, of their own accord. Your hand grabs the sword's hilt, and it fits perfectly. It's your sword. All you have to do is pull it out and... Damn it! Your muscles burn. The sword is moving an inch. Can you please find a... Find, find a laser? Yell the sword. Something rises up in your soul. Despair? Yes. It seems to be despair. Come on, you hell fiend! Get out of there! Come on! <laughs> Anger and yelling are a perfect combination, but Excalibur doesn't care. It remains cold, mocking, and motionless. Shit. Getting desperate, they'll blow up the whole ship. A happy squeal from us from behind the door drowns up the science wail. They remember that they have an automatic chainsaw diamond. Uh, automatic chainsaw. I am a coder from page 142. Now we really don't have time. Damn it all. The pickaxe! Dragon stone, you fumble around your pockets. The pickaxe glints in your hands. You wind up and strike the edge of the stone. A big ragged chunk falls to the floor in a crash. That's kind of unfair, but pretty efficient. You need to get the sword at any cost. The shining behind the door gets louder. Pickaxe striking sounds. The sword lurches forward. You throw your pickaxe aside and manage to catch it at the last second. There are still bits of stone on the, on the blade, but all in all, Excalibur is free. Air fast! Seems like the stone got pretty worn out over the course of the journey. He's trying to raise Excalibur triumphantly, but it's too heavy. Besides, the small sharp teeth are tearing apart the thick steel door right before your very eyes. Time to get out of here? Time. Casper was sword with all your strength. So get out of here! Whew! Did it! What kind of spaceship has a random s- Oh, we have a Scalibur. Still a bit of the s- on the stone in it, but we have no time. We have a Scalibur now. Look at us being lucky. It's also night. I hope those are those are trees. They look like they're cobwebs. Someone playing with the microwave still at night? Fuck. Why is someone playing with the microwave at night? It is. Did you get the item? Hmm. Yeah. I got your item. This time I got a good. Hmm. Need to get 
some sleep now. I'm exhausted. You know, I thought we 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 were we were asleep, but sure. Great, I'm gonna get yelled at now. Hello? Hey Chen, you called. Did something happen? I called you? Yeah. I was away for the weekend, but when I came back, there were 15 missed calls on my machine. I figured something must have happened to you. Damn. Hey, uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I apologize for bothering you. Don't worry about it. Well then, goodbye, I guess? Yes. Goodbye. Yeah, I thought I was getting yelled at. The order has been accepted. You may go. Um, there was no envelope. What envelope? You know, the one with money inside that you usually give me after? Last time you ruined an order that cost me 600,000 pounds sterling. How much? You think I'm going to pay you for that? I give it as a compensation for my losses. Hold on. You paid me a thousand per order. That still leaves you with so much money. That's all I have to say. God. Fuck you. I'm supposed to do all this shit and he's trying to be a dick about it. Maybe you shouldn't make an, make an entire desk already. A selfish asshole. It's been a tough day. I'm gonna take a nappy nap. 